content creator, Kimberly Lane Roberts. I am the founder of Performance Leadership International. I am dedicated to helping women entrepreneurs design a blueprint of abundance from the inside out. In every episode, myself, along with the featured guest, will share abundance tools, tips, and resources on my globally recognized show, The Abundant Blueprint with Kimberly. Hello, hello, everybody, and welcome to The Abundance Blueprint with Kimberly. I'm Kimberly Lane Roberts, your host and your content creator. And this is a show where we have wonderful women and soon-to-be men who have had a journey to their own personal abundance, uh, both professionally and personally. And just we share tips, tools, and insights to help you build your own blueprint to abundance. You are in the right place if you want to listen in on the conversation I'm going to be having with Lana Daru. She is, we're going to talk about how to unlock your vibrant vitality. She is both a wellness advocate and an energy release practitioner. Uh, stick around because we're going to talk about a couple things. We're going to talk about um, just just how to, um, lost track of my thoughts here, how to be consistent in your energy and wellness, how to be true to your gifts and passion, and to how to release bad energy. Ironically, right now, Pluto is in retrograde, and this is a time of transformation. Pluto is the planet of transformation. So right now, people may be feeling that they have a need to just get rid of stuff that's no longer serving them, bad energy, if you will, and replace it or rebirth with something new and wonderful. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, this is also the time in the show I ask, uh, answer questions about how you can work with me. Um, I serve women in two different ways. One, as an executive coach. So no, ma no matter where you sit around the world, I am here for you to help you manifest your dreams into reality. Uh, please go to performanceleadershipintl.com. And no matter um, if you do sit in the Bay Area, please don't hesitate to go to performanceleadershipintl.com, fill out the CAD tech form, and maybe just have an interview to find out if you are a great fit for my peer advisory group. We have 50% women, which I'm very proud of, and very diverse cultures, and it's an opportunity to grow your business and grow yourself. So, all right, let's talk about our wonderful guest, Lana. So, uh, Lana comes to us with a very unique background. Uh, like I said, she's a wellness advocate and energy release practitioner with a BA in psychology. She also can work her magic, if you will, I hate to use magic, but she used muscle testing along with some of these other tools to help organically heal you. So she has had, unfortunately, her own journey of pain and discomfort and has looked for alternative uh, sources of medicine and healing in order to heal herself. And hence, she has taken that into her own purpose. You also will find that she's an extremely compassionate person when she's working with her clients. And I just love her adorable giggle. It's so endearing. And I hopefully will hear that today. So without further ado, let's bring up Lana Daru. I think I just made a rhyme. How funny is that? All right. Hi, Lana. How are you? <laughs> My cheesy introduction. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, there's the giggle. <laughs> right on cue, right on cue. What? I said right on cue. <laughs> if I drop out, I'll come right back in. So hopefully we've been having some problems. So anyway, nice mm. to be here. Thank you, Kimberly, for having me on the show. <laughs> it's a joy to have you. It's been a long time coming. So um uh, as always, I always like to ask my guests, what does abundance mean to you or an abundant life mean to you? I guess abundance would mean like freedom, like being free, not ever having to worry about money, just being able to kind of live my life abundant with people, abund abundant with love, abundant with nature, abundant with everything. So that's abundance. <laughs> and are you able to do that? Are you there? I am not to the level that I'd like to be, but I'm close, you know, Excellent. another, Excellent. One, yeah. <laughs> another Aspiring to be there. Year would be great. What? Yeah. <laughs> Aspiring to be there. You're not too far away. So good. Good. Yeah. Um, so let's just jump into your journey, Sarah. I know you've had some early on personal struggles and, and, and those have led you to, um, kind of find your purpose here, but use these organic tools and methodologies. So, um, you know, your, these body signals had led you to prayer and prayer led you to live your purpose now. And, um, uh, and so just kind of share with us what, what that journey has looked like for you. Well, it was, it started probably in the shower with so much pain, wondering if people felt as badly as I did. I was just like, you know, what is this? I know that I have more to offer. And I felt in my heart that 
I needed to do something to help people, but I didn't want to go back to college because that was kind of mm. traumatic as a single mom um, trying to go through yeah, school. Like yeah. Yeah. And so I just asked the question and I ended up working out with a friend in Utah. She, you know, I was like, let's work out at home. She's all, no, let's go to this place. And that's where my journey started with oils. And I think that the oils kind of just started shifting out energy maybe that was holding me back. And so at that point, I, I was open, more open to learning new things. And with my son's mental illness, I discovered belief code. And I mean, not belief code, I started with emotion code, moved into body code, and now belief code practitioner. Yep. So um, as you as you probably share with your your uh, clients, you have an oil for that, I, I guess, right? So. <laughs> right on. I definitely I love it. do. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> so um, uh, so you kind of it's I, I think it's important and, and not everybody knows that. And I think as you get older, you're an older soul, you realize when you have these uh intuitions, you kind of follow them. And, and I've said in many shows that a lot of times your pain becomes your purpose. And I think that's been obvious in your journey as well. Um, and I think sometimes you're kind of like, this doesn't really make any sense. It's not logical. I don't know. I can make money at it, whatever. So how help the audience understand how did you actually be able to realize you could actually make money in this and, and trust yourself in going through that journey versus just, oh, obviously you didn't want to go back to college. That was it. That was your, the intuition telling you don't, you know, that was a, putting that block in the way for you. So, yeah. Well, I went to do, I went to school for psychology and I didn't believe any of that. I just didn't make sense mm. to me so much. So mm. this really made sense. And I just, I asked my niece to join me in it. And that was just a gut instinct. And I actually didn't even go to like a class to learn about it. I just fell in love with the oil so much because it made it so I could sleep at night because I was mm. going through that premenopausal time and didn't really understand what was going on with me. But for two years, I couldn't sleep. So when I tried Clary Sage, it kind of shifted it. And I just asked her to join me. And then I took oils to my son and, and it just kind of exploded. So how, you know, in business, I don't know if I just think it was just such a blessing. And for some reason, I was supposed to do it. And everything just kind of unfolded with, you know, just people coming in my life and being open to receive those people, being open to um, learn as much as I could, really. That's, it was just that, and it just happened. And at the time, I was still doing accounting because I'd done that for 25 years. And as I made more money, then it made it so I could uh, quit doing the accounting. Yeah, I think, um, I think, and I've said this before too, when we follow where the money is, our heart and passion may not be there. And so it ends up being in reverse. But if you kind of follow your passion and kind of where you feel you need to be led, even if it doesn't make sense, you end up making the money and it kind of flows. Like you said, things, the door started opening, you started meeting people, you found classes to take, right? So clients started pouring in the door, right? <laughs> yeah. That's I mean, what, it's the, amazing. The hardest part, yeah. Right. The more you're open, the more I was open to receiving, I think. And I, you know, learned that from Joey Garrity and, and really our love buckets and having that full and doing a lot of work and exercises towards that uh, with journaling, um, journaling my, my dreams in the present moment, I think helps to open up the door and then not pushing so hard, but just allowing it to happen. And then being available for that, for those opportunities, not being afraid yeah, to really, speak up. <laughs> I, right. No. And I like what you said about putting it out there, but having the patience and allowing for the receptivity. Cause I think many of us are used to doing everything by ourselves and being independent as a single mom, you were doing it all. And just, just allowing for that space to get filled versus controlling it to get filled or wishing it to get filled, whatever. It just, it takes a huge amount of strength. So I just want to applaud you for, for your achievement. Definitely. So can you just give a little example about, you said, you mentioned with the sleep piece of it, a uh, particular oil, how does it work? So how, like if you're, if, how does it work in your practice and in, in and identifying something for somebody and why did the oils work? Well, oils are just natural compounds. So they're just, they come from the plants, so they don't have side effects. And that's where I, why I was so excited to it. Cause I was the little girl that ran away from the doctor. I don't like, I just never liked medication. I never liked shots. I never liked vaccines, never liked any of that. So I think that, um, 
I mean, the way that I've used it for myself and then I help others, I try to help them to learn muscle testing so that if there's 10 different things to choose from, how do you know which one to use? And it's really a vibration. And vibration really is the healing, kind of the healing of the future, because we finally realize, oh, wait, we're energetic beings, right? So now that we know that and we use the different frequencies, oils have those energy frequencies. So if you pick the right one, and it, it's emotion-based. So I choose things emotion-based, but as you start like muscle testing, you can use a pendulum, however you do it, you eventually work towards having your intuition kick in. And then I can just ask the question, what's the oil that I need for this? And then I'll use it. And I try to encourage people to intuitively choose their oil. So if there's 10 oils or you have 10 oils, just say, what oil do I need for this? Set the intention and just grab the oil. And it works. It's amazing. And I use it like I use a hand and foot chart to like check all my body, my organs, what's going on if I'm not feeling great. Um, I use it that and I use the emotion, the body and the belief code in combination. I think it's just a good combination. And I think there's other tools out there that we need sometimes. So I just stay open to receiving these different gifts that will help me at, at different stages. And um I think I, I'll use emotion code if, if I'm having just, I'm just feeling funky or body code if I have a discomfort in my body and then belief code if I have, um, or not just saying me, but any clients or for myself, if there's like a, a program that keeps happening. So like one of them was insecurity. That's been a huge thing in my life. And I noticed a shift immediately when I did the belief code. So I'm really excited that you're learning belief code because unfortunately I can't take care of everybody and we need more. <laughs> oh, you can't. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but it's just yeah. so empowering, you know, I like to empower people. No, and I just, I, this whole, you, you touched on it. I just think the world is moving to energy healing because we are all made of energy and, you know, mm -hmm. trapped emotions displace mm -hmm. things in our body and, and create misalignments, if you will, which shift our energy fields, which shift what we attract and shift our mental attitudes and our health and blah, 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 blah. And then it's just different layers. It's just fascinating. And, and, um, it, it just, it's so rewarding when working with clients and you work on them and they are like I, one woman, she was like, Oh my gosh, people are coming up to me and just saying hi or offering things to me or asking me to go to lunch. I mean, like just people she doesn't even really know. It's just like her whole energy field shifted to be like very attractive. And, you know, so it's just, it's just very powerful. So, um, exactly. And, and you, you, hit, you hit the nail on the head. It's shifting your energy field in these, using these tools to do that so that you can welcome all the goodness out there. Exactly. And you can reach out to Lana at happyhealing.me if yep. you do want to get a hold of her. I believe you do offer a complimentary session for people. So mm -hmm. I would say hell yeah to that and take advantage of it. So um, unfortunately, we have limited time on the show, as you know. So <laughs> is there anything that you would <laughs> like to share with the audience about uh, what you would tell your younger self? Looking I, back? I would just say, chill out. <laughs> um, <laughs> chill out. Let, you know, Make your goals, set your goals, and then allow it to unfold to you and that you are able to heal. I've healed through so many things and you can heal quicker if you have the tools to heal. So stay positive and keep the faith. Yep. There it, you can. And like Lana had said, you can, she started this through working on herself and you can just simply learn these tools to help yourself. And I think that alone is powerful. So Lana, you are just delightful as I, as I'll get out and I just love you to death. And so thanks for being on the show today. As you know, I'm going to drop you down and we'll touch base as soon as the show is over. Okay. Bye for now. Okay. Thank you so much. Bye everyone. Bye. Bye. <laughs> uh, wonderful Lana. I really encourage you to go ahead and take advantage of her uh, complimentary session. You don't know what you're going to find out, but I'm sure it will be amazing. Um, as always, if you want to bring more wealth and abundance into your life, if you're trying to manifest your own dreams into reality, highly recommend uh, using that link below or actually going to Performance Leadership INTL. So please join me every Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific time or um, 11 a.m. Central. And we are going to say bye for now.
Thank you for joining me today. You can learn more about me, my products and services at performanceleadershipinternational.com. Make sure to join me each Tuesday at 9 a.m. Pacific Time, 11 a.m. Central for another episode of my globally recognized show, The Abundance Blueprint with Kimberly.